Hello everyone, and I, I hope everyone enjoyed the last videos I did. So, <clears throat> if you can take a guess already, it's time for me getting back to the Monster Truck stories. And what better one to kick off with than the story of Bulldozer and come on, come on. El Toro Loco <clears throat> These two have made an impact and are very important to the monster truck world. As of filming this video, you might have seen the re-release of the Black El Toro Loco. But more on that later. Now let's get into the history of Bulldozer first. Our story for bull, a bulldozer begins in 1997 between 1998. Bulldozer was created as a sponsored ship truck by Alberto Smokecraft Jerky with USA Motorsports, Guy Wood, and the hub oh. I apologize for that if you heard it in the background Guy Wood and the Hall brothers would run the truck for two seasons in 1999 Tom Mintz that's right. We're continuing the story of the Team Mint Trucks. Drove Bulldozer on his Monster Patrol chassis, formerly Taurus 4. After Monster Jam bought out USA Motorsports, a a Dimit <clears throat> determined rivalry be against Dennis Anderson and Mintz builds up after he defeated Anderson in Orlando on the debut of his bulldozer Bobby Z drive drove the truck on Extreme Overkill 2000. Mintz moved to Goldberg and Rob Nell took over as the driver for Bulldozer. During this time, the truck would is run on and off as NWO Wetnell acting as the mysterious driver for the truck. It is invited to the Monster Jam World Finals 1 as NWO After, but afterwards, 
would return to the rest of for the rest of the 2001 season as bulldozer Paul Stanford <clears throat> Paul Paul Stanter, excuse me, drive the truck on his American cowboy chassis. Guy Wood runs the name at the Monster Jam World Finals 1 on his chassis.